Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Stephanie and today I wanted to show you my fig scrubs that I recently ordered and give you a little bit of review and a try on as well to hopefully save you some hassle like I went through when I ordered mine. I ordered mine and then I had to return them like three times and I eventually found things that I was going to keep and wear to work. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that I got was this fleece, it's on shift fleece they call it, and this is what it looks like. It's got a nice pocket in the front which zips up, um, so that's really, it actually fits pens in it. I really like this pocket actually, because um, I normally wear, if I'm not wearing this, I wear an old hoodie and a t-shirt, it's just like a plain Fruit of the Loom t-shirt from Walmart, and they don't have any pockets, so I ended up needing all the pockets on my pants um, for pens and stuff, and then my pockets get a little hectic. So I really like having this pocket here. It's nice and fitted. I really quite like it. Um, so it's also got two pockets here that I oh here that I never use to be honest, and then it's also got two side pockets that zip up. Oh, there's gauze in there. Obviously use those pockets. And yeah, it's nice that they zip up. Oh, and I have gloves in that pocket. So this is very pockety, which is always my favorite. And then inside, it's got another pocket here, which it's actually, yeah, it's got another pocket and it has like this little logo rings, money, or airpods. Only those things allowed in there. And then it's got another pocket and it says be an outsider. Honestly when I have this draped over a chair in the nursing station I always position it a certain way so nobody can see these silly quotes inside. I'm just trying to take care of people. I don't need to let everybody know that I'm trying to be an outsider, you know. Anyway, um, so it's got this kind of like stretchy collar and then so the front is all fleece and then it's got this like smooth kind of fabric and then this is the back of it and it's got this little like rubber logo there. And then it's half, I don't know what you would call this material, like polyester maybe? Probably. And then more fleece on the bottom half. I'm going to show these while on. And I'm going to try them on for you. That's what I meant. I'm going to try them on. Um, just so you can get a better idea of what I'm describing. But anyway, so I got this fleece. They had, um, they had several colors online. I got this in the deep charcoal color. And I got it in an extra small, and it was $150. So, just for your awareness. Very expensive. I I don't know what kind of mood I was in when I bought this, when I justified it. <laughs> because now I, I don't even work at the hospital as my main job anymore. I work from home. <laughs> but anyway, this fleece is very nice. Like, I... It's gonna last me a long time and I would honestly wear this like out probably like camping or not necessarily in public but I would wear it for more than just working and again too I started doing aesthetic kind of things from home um, so having like professional scrub kind of clothing is also good for that so anyway 150 bucks and then too, the, actually I forgot to mention, yeah, the sleeves have like a tight kind of little cuff on them, which I don't honestly know how well this is going to hold up. And it is, again, it is fleece at the end of the day, so I don't know, your mileage may vary depending how you care for it, but I just hand, I don't hand wash this. I wash it in cold and then I hang it to dry. So there's that. And also I'm... I'm a type of person that I don't like having sleeves all the way down my, like to my wrists. So I'm always folding it up or shoving the arms up my sleeves. Shoving my sl the sleeves up my arms. Focus, Stephanie. 
and the fleece kind of creases like it's got this creasing so that happens um it's not like a huge deal and this is an extra small and again i'm a small person and i still end up folding the sleeves about that much but that's more of a me thing i don't like having long sleeves ever especially at work so that's that oh and two Another thing that, you know, can like drive some people crazy, it can drive me crazy, is um, the zipper is really nice. It's rubber and it catches super easily, no issues with the zipper at all. It doesn't snag, you know, on like the lining part there. It just zips up. It's great. So that's the first thing that I ordered from Figs and ended up keeping. And then the next thing are two of the same pairs of scrub pants just in different colors so i ordered them in black which i'm not going to show you too much on camera just because it's hard to see them to be honest like the details but um that's what they look like they have a gray or a silver drawstring and for better visuals i will show you this color but so these are called the Black Samora High Waisted 2.0 Petite Jogger Scrub Pants and I got them in Night Sky and the Black and these were $74 a pair. So I got these in an extra extra small because the extra small that I originally ordered was too big. It was too big in the waist, it was just not flattering at all and now these are like a tad tight on me. so. I'm trying to kind of see, you know, if maybe I'm just like bloated right now because I'm lifting weights and stuff or taking creatine and just building muscle and not having gotten rid of the fat that I had on my body yet. So I'm going to kind of give it time. I mean, they're not like uncomfortable at all. They're just tighter than I would prefer to wear to work. So that's why I don't actually wear them a ton, but I do like them and I do wear them. I just wear my others first and then when they're dirty I wear these <laughs> but anyway so they have a nice high waist I'll show you when I try them on but this is the waistband and it's nice and nice and stretchy and then these ones have a pink string they have a little tag there there are two just like open butt pockets and on the front there's two pockets here and then they have just on the one leg is a pocket with a zipper yeah just the one so I find like if I'm wearing these to work if I usually like to wear the fleece with it because then I have enough zippered pockets you know if you have like I don't know, tampons or whatever you know you don't want it flying around the room if you're grabbing other stuff you know, if you're like, if I take out a piece of paper and write down someone's vitals, I don't need my like panty liner flying out with it. I like to have separate pockets. So, anyway, at least there's one zippered pocket that's fabulous. And then they have a cuff as well, which is already kind of pilling. I don't know if you can see that super well. Will it focus? Probably not, because my. Good camera hasn't arrived in the mail yet. Anyway, you can kind of see that's pilling, but it's not like horrendous. And the main part of the pants are very unpilled as well. So that's all good stuff for sure. So those are the items that I kept. Um, the things that I ordered that I sent back were of course the same scrub pants in a size larger that were too big on me. I also ordered the scrub tops to go with this outfit um, because I started working at a hospital that they said that they had a uniform of black scrubs and but they also said you don't have to follow it because they won't give you money for black scrubs but I was I came from BC where I had hospital issued scrubs for the most part and they're like very blue and Everybody was wearing black when I first started, so I didn't want to be like that one outsider with like, you know, a supposed bad attitude. I don't know. I just wanted to start off on a good foot, on the right foot, and just, you know, 
assimilate in terms of scrubs. So that's why I ordered the scrub tops, which were the women's black Casma three pocket scrub top in extra small. And they were $45 each um, American. So I don't know why some of these, I'm looking at the receipts that I got. Um, I don't know why some of them were in Canadian dollars and some were in American. Couldn't tell ya. But anyway, so I ordered those in an extra small because originally my all my orders were extra small and they ended up being too big and the scrub tops were really long and not flattering and I ended up just returning them and getting a pack of men's black t-shirts from Walmart and that's what I wear as a t-shirt to work. Um, way cheaper and more flattering honestly, more comfortable too, so anyway. So I had initially ordered those, which I'll show a photo of them on the website. I never, I shipped them back so fast that I never had a chance to record them or film them for purposes of this. And then the other thing that I ordered was the Women's Heather Grey Essential Hoodie. And that was $84 American, which I, that worked out to be like almost a hundred bucks Canadian and I got it in the mail and I was really excited I thought it'd be like this really high quality hoodie from figs, you know, and then I tried it on and it was just like the hood was annoying it was Like the lining was kind of cheap and you could see like the um, the collar and the it was just not, it bugged me. It wasn't super comfy. I didn't love it as soon as I put it on. So I was like, okay, I'm returning this. And then I tried the fleece and that's what I ended up keeping. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The other thing um, is I was kind of more tempted to make a purchase from them because they offered a 20% discount for your first purchase. And Figs was good enough to honor that 20% discount when I had to exchange things and reorder things because it was still kind of like my initial order. So that was really nice. Um, I spent a lot of time on their live chat support and they ended up giving me a that same discount every time until I found stuff that I was happy with. So that was very nice of them. I do really appreciate that. And um, But anyway, my camera just shut off because it was too hot. But I just wanted to quickly say that Fig's customer service was amazing and they were very prompt with their responses and I would definitely recommend them just based on their customer service and based on the quality of the items that I ended up keeping. So let's move on to the try on. watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content and be sure to like this video if you did enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!